What do you get when you mix an Eclipse and a box of Pringles? Today I am going to show you how to make a Eclipse viewfinder with a box of Pringles. All you need is a box of Pringles, a little bit of printer paper, and some scissors, and that's all you need to be able to watch the Eclipse safely. This is an indirect viewing though, so do not, do not use it like a telescope and stare up at the sun because it will burn your eyes out. But I'm going to show you how to make it so you can look at a projection. It's kind of like the pinhole viewfinder that you'll see from like NASA's website, but this is how we do it. So we have, I bought two things of Pringles, I'm going to make two of them. All we need are the Pringles, the lid of the Pringles, and a piece of paper, and you have yourself an Eclipse viewfinder. Step one, dump the chips into a bag because you would not want to waste these yummy chips. I've already ate some of them. Chips have been saved. Next up, you want to kind of clean the inside of the container out just because it's kind of gross. Okay, the next step is going to be to take the plastic lid from the Pringles and trace a circle around it on a piece of paper. Once you have the circle traced, take a pair of scissors and cut it out, but kind of try to cut from the inside because you're going to put that paper back in the lid. Okay, that's the best I could do. Nothing special, but it works. Okay, take your piece of paper and stick it inside of the lid. See, I did such a bad job cutting it, but... So mine's actually going to stay in there. So, just like that. This is going to be like your uh, projector screen for the Pringle box. The next step is going to be to cut a small slit out of the box so that you can actually view it. So I'm going to go here and cut probably about three, four inches. But you want to leave enough room on the top so that the lid will stay on. Just like that. I'm going to put the lid back on. And now if you look inside here, you have the projection screen thing. And the next step is going to be to poke a hole in the very bottom of the Pringle can. A small thumbtack should do just fine to poke the hole. Okay, poke the hole. Now you have a hole. And then you should be able to view the sun. So let's go see if it works. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but there's a small projection right there. So I guess you can make the hole a little bigger if you want a bigger one. And then you should be able to see as the moon goes over the eclipse going through there. And there you have it. You have a solar eclipse viewfinder projection thing. It gives you a safe way to view the eclipse. If you're one of the people that did not get glasses in time like me, then you can do it this way safely. I am not an optometrist, so if you decide to look at the sun, that's your choice. But you do have this option, which cost me a dollar at the grocery store. And you can view the sun. So anyways, you just poke a small hole, cut the top off, and put a piece of paper over here to project the sun onto. And you can kind of watch as the moon covers the sun in the solar eclipse. If you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends before tomorrow when the eclipse happens. And make sure that you subscribe, because we do post other videos three times a week. And next week we're going to Disneyland, so that should be fun to edit those videos and get a little vacation. But anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.